Relatives of the woman killed in yesterday's shooting describe her as an extraordinary person. The daughter and granddaughter of 79-year-old Minnie Seabolt say she had amazing energy, and even though she was grieving the loss of her husband last year, she still found time to help family and friends. Six News reporter Megan Dillard spoke with her family, and Megan's in the studio tonight with more. Bill, Minnie Ray Seabolt died at the scene during Wednesday's shootings. The 79-year-old was there running an errand with a family member. We sat down with Minnie's daughter and granddaughter in Minnie's home in Deweyville. They gave us a look into the life of a woman they say would do anything for anyone. This is her. This is her. Deborah Holst has suffered an incredible loss. My mother was murdered. There's no other way to say it. She was actually murdered. Her mother, 79-year-old Minnie Ray Seabolt, was shot and killed Wednesday outside the Jefferson County Courthouse. She picked up a family member in Deweyville and drove to the courthouse to help the relative get VA benefits. She was just an extraordinary, enthusiastic, woman that never had a bad day. Holst says her mother was known for helping others. Was always with a smile on her face, always ready to help anybody. Through tears, laughter, and pictures, Minnie's family shared the story of her life. My grandma was not the best driver. She's probably... We couldn't keep up with her. She was just that active and that energetic and that motivated. To take my grandma under such senseless circumstances, it, it's just beyond my comprehension. Her family believes Minnie would forgive the man who shot her. I don't think she'd have a, 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 a grudge. I think she would just say, you know, it's my time to go. I'm with my son, both my husbands, all her brothers and sisters that have passed before her. A life well lived, says her family, but a life that was far from over. When he did that, he took a whale. She can't be replaced. An example of that full life, Minnery. Excuse me, Minnie was a notary public, an election judge, and a landlord. She was planning to go whitewater rafting in June. The family will start making funeral arrangements tomorrow. Reporting live in the studio, Megan Dillard, KFDM 6 News.